Lakehead University paid tribute to residential school survivors with a special flag raising ceremony this morning. LU officials and indigenous leaders gathered to raise the national truth and reconciliation flags on the, the flag on the steps outside of the Agora. The survivor's flag is meant to honor all the lives and communities impacted by Canada's residential school system. A crowd of roughly 100 people looked on as the flag was raised by Elder Catherine McGuire, whose Indigenous name is Kaganish. She's a residential school survivor and a Lakehead graduate. LU President Jillian Sidall spoke about how important it is for their students to have access to this type of information while on campus. I think that universities have a critical role to play in uh, truth and reconciliation um, and I think that it is incumbent upon universities to make sure that our students have that opportunity to learn that history, to learn that truth and then be part of, of the, the journey of reconciliation. It's very um, uh, appreciated by the survivors when we have individuals and people um, that come out and wear their um, orange t-shirts and uh, and and when we see them hanging on on the homes uh, of uh, of the citizens here in Thunder Bay and um, and other things that that they do such as raising this flag. Lakehead University will host several free events which are open to the public throughout the month of September leading up to the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation on September 30th.